How often do you find yourself wishing that your child would listen more attentively? Ensuring that your kids are listening is the first step to effective communication. It's a universal practice that transcends the boundaries of age, culture, and geography. If this rings true in your parenting journey, you're not alone. Many of us are seeking better ways to get our kids to listen effectively without resorting to yelling or bribery. Let's delve into some strategies that could hold the key to unlocking your child's attentive ears. The first step is ensuring your child is attentive before you start speaking. Remember that communication is key. When your child needs attention, make sure you have there as well. Use eye contact and speak calm with a firm voice. This could be as simple as getting their attention by calling their name and making eye contact. The next strategy is to set clear expectations from the start. Let your child know what you expect from them and why it is important. Use positive reinforcement. Praise and reward your children when they listen and follow instructions. Be specific about what listening means to you. Avoid repeating yourself if the child is not listening. It's important to wait for their attention before conveying your message. To avoid creating a pattern where they know they don't have to listen the first time because you will repeat yourself. Then we have the strategy of using simple words. Children are still learning language and complex sentences can be too much for them to take in. Again, be specific. Another essential strategy is to follow through consequences if your child does not listen. This could be something as simple as taking away a privilege or implementing a timeout if necessary. Make sure your child knows that there will be consequences for not listening and that you will enforce them if need be. Also look at the things from the child's point of view. This helps in understanding their perspective and communicating in a way that makes sense to them. Speak calmly and respectfully. Facilitating cooperation is another key strategy. Instead of giving orders, involve them in the decision-making process. This makes them feel valued and more likely to listen encourage cooperation. Maintaining calm is crucial. Children mirror our emotions. If we are calm, they are more likely to be calm and listen. Avoid raised voices or angry tones. This can make your child feel intimidated and act out of fear rather than respect for you. Establishing routines can also help children listen better. Uh, Routines provide predictability, which can be comforting for children and make them more receptive to your instructions. Listening to the child and paying attention to their comprehension level is another vital strategy. This fosters a two-way communication where your child feels heard and understood. Continuing our journey on the path of effective communication Let's delve into the importance of expanding communication with your child. You've listened, connected, and established a routine. But how do you really get your child to open up? The answer lies in asking open-ended questions. These types of questions require more than a simple yes or no answer, encouraging your child to express their thoughts and feelings. For instance, instead of asking, did you have a good day at school? Try, what was your favorite part of the day at school? Tell me about something interesting you learned today. What would you like to do this weekend? Can you describe a time when you felt really proud of yourself? Or how did that make you feel? This not only stimulates conversation, but also gives you a deeper insight into your child's world. 
It's a wonderful way to understand their perspective and to show them that their opinions and feelings matter. But remember, when they start to express themselves, do not interrupt. It's important that they feel heard and understood. Patience is key. Give them the space to articulate their thoughts, even if it takes a little longer. This will help them develop confidence in their own voice. Remember, communication is a two-way street. Let your child express themselves freely. It's through these open dialogues that we can truly connect with our children. So keep the conversations flowing, ask open-ended questions, and most importantly, listen. You'll be amazed at the world you can explore together through communication. Finally, reducing non-negotiable orders can also help in getting your child to listen. Too many non-negotiables can make a child feel overwhelmed and less likely to listen. These strategies, when applied, can help in fostering a deep sense of connection and understanding with your child. This is the power of effective communication. As you embrace these strategies, may you too find a deeper connection with your child. Remember that consistency is key in any parent tragedy. Stick to these steps every time you need your child to listen and over time your child will learn that listening is an important part of the relationship between the two of you. These are just some of the ways you can get your children to listen without resorting to negative tactics like yelling or bribery. Finally, no matter our parenting styles or beliefs, the power of communication unites us all. Keep communicating, keep understanding, and keep the patience. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more parenting tips that work. Good luck in the parenting journey.